Hey guys, welcome to another Tuesday edition of the Vinyl Den, your channel for record collecting by record collectors. My name is Nick. So I'm here to talk about some new releases that are coming out this Friday, May the 13th. There's not a whole lot coming out, a little over 300 titles. I got six that I'm going to talk about today. If you have not seen it, make sure you click on that link down below. Go check out the Vinyl Den Facebook group. It's a cool place to continue the music conversation. There's also a couple other links down there. There's one for the Vinyl Den merch page where we get t-shirts and sweatshirts. There's a link for the Vinyl Den Spotify and Apple Music playlists where every week we're just compiling music that we're talking about here on the channel, putting it together on a nice playlist for everyone to enjoy. If you, uh, there's also a link for the Vinyl Den Patreon page. If you want to support the show, it's always greatly appreciated. You can support the show for as little as a dollar a month. And of course, if you enjoyed the episode, make sure you give me the old thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below and make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified every time we release new episodes. Like I said in the intro, there's only a little over 300 titles coming out. So, uh, and I'm going to talk about six of them. So if there's something I don't talk about here on the show today, make sure you drop me a comment down below. Let me know what uh, what albums I missed. Because I'm sure there's uh, there's always, obviously, going to be a bunch I'm going to miss because I don't talk about everything. But uh, anyway, the first one that uh, is coming out is one that I've wanted for a long time. And the reissues have been really expensive. Um, you know, I just saw the previous reissue. I think it was, a, actually, I saw a 2014, I think, reissue a couple of weeks back. And I want to say it was like 130 or 140 bucks. So I'm really happy to see this getting reissued. This is the Forrest Gump original soundtrack. And I think there's a standard, I know there's a Walmart exclusive that's being released also. I've seen, because I've seen the, a black version for like 30 bucks, and then the Walmart version, which is going to be 31 or $32. And the uh, the Walmart version is on blue and red vinyl. Uh, you know, it's 32 tracks over two LPs. It's just a great album. It's a great soundtrack. Probably one of my favorite soundtracks of the last, you know, 30 plus years. And, uh... I know the last reissue was done on by uh, Music on Vinyl, but this is from Legacy Recordings, which is of course part of Sony. So I'm uh, I'm interested, definitely interested to check that out, especially since it's only gonna be like thirty, thirty one, thirty two dollars is a whole lot better than the one forty that I've seen the reissues go for. So that's definitely one I got on my list. And then the next one is Dream Theater. Uh, Lost, Not Forgotten Archives, Falling Into Infinity. So, it Falling Into Infinity was their uh, fourth studio album, which was released back in 1997. This is a five LP set, so this is a bunch of demos from that record, from that album. So, definitely cool to check out if you are a, a Dream Theater fan. It's kind of pricey, though. It's going to be running about 50 bucks, but like I said, it's a five LP set. So, I think there's definitely enough there to kind of warrant that, uh, that price tag. But, um... You know, I'm not the biggest Dream Theater fan, but uh, if it's available on streaming, I'll, I'll definitely stream it and check it out. One that I know is going to be on a bunch of people's lists this week. This is Iowa by Slipknot. This is Slipknot's second studio album. It was released in 2001. And this is on like a translu translucent light green. I know sometimes it's called like Coke Bottle Clear or something like that. There's a couple of different names for it, but... Uh, so that's being released. It's going to run about, running about 30 bucks online. I think there's a Walmart exclusive for Iowa being released also, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Iowa, of course, peaked at number three on the Billboard Top 200. Uh, it's, a, it's a fantastic album. If you are a, a hard rock fan, that's definitely a great one to check out. Like I said, the, their debut album was reissued just a couple of weeks back, so they're kind of falling in order there. The next one is one that... Uh, I initially thought it was kind of cool, and then I started reading into the uh, the the little blurb they've got uh, about this album online. I had definitely have some questions, but this is it's a very various artist release, and it's called "Animals Reimagined: Tribute to Pink Floyd." You guys know me; I'm a huge Pink Floyd fan. This thing's are running about twenty seven bucks online, and uh, it says that each track has been reimagined with quote unquote tasteful musical additions. I mean, Animals is probably my second favorite Pink Floyd album. I'm interested to see what their musical additions are. Uh, but, um, you know, if you're going to redo, if you're going to do like a tribute album, just do like a tribute album and, and redo those songs. Um, you know, I'm not sure what you can really add to such a great album like that. I, I'm going to try to keep my, my, my mind open on it and, uh, and give it a listen and, and check it out. It's, uh, it's on clear vinyl. Like I said, it's 27 bucks, so it's not terribly priced. I'll, uh, I'm definitely interested to, to hear that one, though. 
The next one is definitely one I'm looking forward to. This is Duke Ellington meets Coleman Hawkins. This is part of the Verve Acoustic Sound Series. We're going to get like 36 bucks online. So, you know, I guess a lot of those jazz, jazz releases are kind of creeping up into the high 30 range. You guys know me. I'm a huge jazz fan. I definitely have loved this uh, series from Verve. Uh, just like I've uh, enjoyed the, the Blue Note series also. So, this was recorded in 1962 and was the only recording session by these two giants of jazz ever recorded together. So, that's kind of cool. Like I said, like taking 20 years to, to put this together. It was something they'd been working on for a long time. But uh, this is from the original analog tapes. And uh, like I said, this is definitely one I'm looking forward to grabbing. It's going to be, uh, that's going to be a really good release. And then the last one, this is Faster Pussycat Greatest Hits. Okay, so if you guys don't know, Faster Pussycat is one of those, like, hair glam metal bands from the late 80s, early 90s. Um, you know, I thought they only had two albums before I started looking into this. So, they're, um, this was originally released in 2003. And at that time, they only had three studio albums, which I only knew of two of them. So, I guess that's enough material to pull together greatest hits uh their fourth album was a re wasn't released till three years after this greatest hits was released so like i said 37 bucks i uh i've got their first two albums on vinyl it's probably all i really need i uh i guess you know they they probably are one of those bands that uh, a lot of people probably be fine with a, a greatest hits collection so if you are a fan of some of their music and don't have any of it on vinyl i think the greatest hits is probably a good way to go well, that's all I got for you today, guys. Thanks for checking the show out. Like I said, over 300 titles. I talked about six of them. So make sure you drop me a comment down below. Let me know what else uh, is coming out this Friday that uh, I didn't talk about. Because, uh, like I said, I only pull uh, you know from a couple of different sources. So there tends to be something I miss every once in a while. But uh, let me know what else is out there. If you enjoy the episode, make sure you give me the old thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. And that's all I got. Until next time, keep on spinning. Peace. <laughs>